Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Flying Fids. For today's video, I wanted to share 15 parrot owner life hacks, so let's jump into it. Now some of these hacks you might have already heard of and maybe some of these might be new to you. So for our first parrot owner hack, some of you have asked me how I keep up with cleaning after pineapple and pumpkins poop because they do spend most of their time outside of their cages, whether they're in the bedroom or in the living room, which is where they spend most of their day. If they don't poop on their cage or on their play gym, it will end up on the table or on the floor or even on me. So what I do is I have a toilet paper roll in the bedroom and in the living room. And when they poop, I'll just grab my toilet paper roll and rip off a square and just wipe up their poop. So having a toilet paper roll nearby to pick up after your bird's poop is very handy, but I have been thinking of a more eco-friendly way of cleaning up after them because I don't like the idea of constantly having to rip off a square and wipe up their poop because I think it's just very wasteful. I have these reusable cotton rounds and I got these originally for my skincare routine but I ended up deciding not to continue using it for my skincare routine because I feel like these cotton rounds they absorb more of the product and it doesn't really get onto my skin so I thought these are the perfect size for wiping up bird poop and they're reusable so I won't feel as bad using so much toilet paper they're also very absorbent and I feel like I can wipe up four times as much poop compared to using a toilet paper square. And if you have a larger bird, a cotton round might not be big enough to wipe up after their poop. So you can use small microfiber cloths or tea towels to clean up after your bird's poop and then you could just hand wash it at the end of the day. For our second parrot owner hack, some of you might already be doing this, but you can either wear a hand towel over your shoulders and have it tucked underneath your collar to keep it in place, or you can also use a hair clip or a clothespin to clip it in the front so it stays on your shoulders. And what that will do is just catch your parrot's poop if they do poop on your shoulder. Another thing that I tend to do is to just wear old t-shirts and I just call these my poop shirts because I don't care if I get bird poop on it because I don't wear this outside, it's just for home. So you can find some old t-shirts lying around that you don't wear outside and you can just wear them around at home so it doesn't really matter if your bird ends up pooping on it. Birds poop all day so for our third parrot owner hack, this is what I use to clean up dried poop especially if pineapple and pumpkin have pooped somewhere and I didn't see where they pooped and it just dried. So I use an empty spray bottle and I fill it up with water and a little bit of vinegar. You can either use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, which is what I have lying around. And I usually just eyeball it. It doesn't really matter. So I do more water than vinegar. And so if I find a dried poop while I'm cleaning up, what I'll do is just spray this mixture onto the poop, let that soak for a little bit and go clean something else while it soaks in. And then I'll come back after about like five minutes and I'll just wipe away the poop. So I really love this spray because it's one, very cheap and also it's natural so it's not gonna be harmful to your birds but you still don't want to spray this near them because apple cider vinegar does or vinegar in general does have a strong scent to it. For our fourth parrot owner hack, sometimes if bird poop is very dried on or still stuck to the floor or whatever it is, what I'll do is use an old credit card or an old gift card to help me scrape off the poop. And I use this especially after I spray my DIY poop dissolver and I need a little extra help to get that poop off. For our fifth parrot owner hack, some of you might have already heard about this. You can either use a shower curtain, an office mat to protect the floor from your rolling chairs, or plastic drop cloths that are usually used for protecting the floor while you are painting the walls. So you can either place this under your cages and your play gyms to keep the mess off of the floor. I like using one for underneath the play gym because it's very easy to clean. And if your birds like to forage on the ground, just keep an eye on them so that they don't light the shower curtain or the plastic drop cloths or even the office mat that you're using underneath their play gym or their cages. For our next parrot owner hack, so I like using a bottle brush to help clean pineapple and pumpkins stainless steel food bowls. It's so much easier to clean with and it's also more sanitary compared to a kitchen sponge if you use that to clean your food bowls. That just touches everything so it just harbors a lot of bacteria. For the seventh parrot owner life hack, I like using a larger brush to clean the cage grills and perches because larger brushes cover more surface 
surface area and I don't have to spend as much time scrubbing the cage grills or the perches compared to if I was still using a toothbrush. So I don't like spending money on cage liners. So what I'll do is every time I go grocery shopping, which is every week, I'll make sure to grab some circulars at the supermarket and the drugstore as well. They're perfect for lining your cages because the circulars are large pieces of paper and it's also free. So that's one way of getting free cage liners. So another place to get free cage liners is if you're buying glassware and the store that you go to ends up wrapping up your glassware in large pieces of tissue paper, you can use that tissue paper to line your bird's cages. So for our ninth parrot owner hack, you don't have to use this, but if you want to, you totally can. But if you do want some scents here and there, you can definitely make your own DIY air fresheners. So what you can do is boil some parrot safe herbs, spices, maybe some citruses like oranges or lemons, and maybe some vanilla or almond extracts in a pot of water and let it simmer for as long as you like just make sure that you don't forget that you left the pot on the stove and when the water evaporates just add more water so that it doesn't burn there's so many different recipes that you can find online and you can definitely search for ones that match the season for our 10th parrot owner hack don't throw away any of your parrot toys keep your old toys and you can repurpose them and make new toys just make them a little bit different so it's kind of like a brand new toy for your bird. Also save the clips that your parrot toys might come with and use those to hang completely new toys that you make for our 11th parrot owner hack. Aside from making new toys and repurposing old toys, you can also make origami and give that to your birds to play with. There's so many videos online of different origami that you can make, so you can find whatever you're interested in and make that for your birds. Paper is also cheap and it makes a great toy for your birds to shred up and destroy. For our 12th parrot owner hack, you can do this when you need to run errands or if you're doing some house chores. Aside from having a lot of toys to keep your birds entertained in their cages. You can also play some music on a Google Home if you have one or even an Alexa. And if you have a tablet like an iPad, you can also put something on for them like maybe a nature documentary as another way to keep them entertained. So my favorite playlist to play for the birds and sometimes for my dog too is children's music because it's very upbeat and it's catchy. For our next parrot owner hack, I might have mentioned this in my bird chop recipe video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it on the screen. So what you can do is make a large batch of bird chop ahead of time and freeze them into ice cube trays. Once the bird chop is frozen in the ice cube trays, you can pop them out and place them into a larger Ziploc bag to keep all of your cubes in the freezer. And you can place one cube to defrost in the fridge at night so it's ready for your birds to eat in the morning, which is perfect for portioning. You don't have to get a traditional ice cube tray like what I have. There are so many Many different shapes and sizes that you can get online so you can get whichever ones that you think would be good portion size for your birds you can get a smaller one a larger one you can get one that is paw shaped or heart shaped I'll be sure to link some in my Amazon page for you to check out for the 14th parrot owner hack this is something that I came across when I was a first-time parrot owner however many years ago so it's kind of sad but it's something that you won't regret when it happens. So what you can do is keep your birds molted feathers in a mason jar or a container so you have something to remember them by when they are gone or when they eventually pass away. And I started doing this because I remember reading somewhere that a parrot owner was regretful for not keeping their birds feathers because they didn't have anything to remember their birds by when they were gone. Keep your birds feathers in a mason jar to not only keep as memories but for our last parrot owner hack after you have collected a bunch of molted feathers you can actually make some home decor out of it so if you're using glues or something toxic to birds to make your home decor just make sure that whatever home decor that you made isn't accessible to your birds so that they don't end up ingesting what you use to put your home decor together one simple idea for this home decor that you can do is using a really cheap picture frame i got this from dollar tree you can just place your birds feathers in 
length here to make it decorative and then just pop the picture frame back into the picture frame and just have this sitting around either on your desk or on a shelf so you can have something to look at that reminds you of your birds. So those were the 15 life hacks for parent owners. Like this video if you're already doing some of these hacks or if something that I mentioned is new to you and you're excited to try them. Also comment down below and let me know some of your parent owner life hacks, especially if it was something that I haven't mentioned. Share it with us because who doesn't like more parent owner hacks? Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Hopefully this was helpful to you and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!